<laughs> okay, let's go. Hello sir, how are you? I'm very good, thank you my friend. Oh okay, here, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. That uh, that uh, office was the biggest team. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Very beautiful country, Oman. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. This road, this road, a uh, new road. Oh, that okay. It's open in 2010. 2010, this road? Yeah. Wow. Because only road is fast. Only it's have one road, that Sultan Khabas road. Ah, okay. Yeah. Sultan Khabas. Who is that? Is that a, is that a person? Sultan Khabas is a road biggest team. The Sultan of, of um, Oman. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Because it's the Sultanate of Oman. This is yeah. what it's called. Yes. Yes, brother. Wow. We've never been to Oman before, but we um, we were staying in the United Arab Emirates and um, in Abu Dhabi, and um, too many big buildings, too many people. We're like, we want to come somewhere more traditional. You know. Any small buildings, yeah. exactly. And uh, we wanted to try hal halwa. Halwa, the uh, the sweet, which yeah. sounds very nice, and uh, also camel. You camel. can eat camel meat. Is this true? You can eat camel and shark. Camel, camel and shark meat. Yeah. To eat them. Yeah. Very good. We want to do this as well. <laughs> and Muscat also is have two palace here. Oh really? Yeah, there Al Alam Palace mm -hmm. and Al Sea Palace. Are they good? Are they good to visit? Yeah, that, this one can you visit? Yeah. Also. Oh, we can visit this one. Yeah. Wow. And uh, and that one no. And uh, not that one. Yeah. Okay, so this is like a royal palace. Yeah. Uh, where people live. Yeah. But this is more for like uh, how visit many visitors. Days in Oman now? Um, what? How many days are we here? Yeah. We one. Can. Just uh, one today. We're okay, yeah, five. one day, brother. Can you believe this? You want you want this uh, Sultan Qaboos? We was gonna go. We was gonna go to the mosque, but um, unfortunately, like we can't. We can't go there because obviously we're not Muslim. So no, I think you it's. you can go because it's give time in morning time to eleven o'clock. I think it's um nine. What was it? Seven, till, seven to or eight till eleven that um, yeah, yeah. tourists can visit. Yeah, and I think it's uh, too late now. <laughs> too late. So we thought we'd go to the Corniche because because now start this uh, uh, pray time. Oh, the prayers. Okay. Twelve, 12 time. Ah. That time is give eight to eleven. Oh, okay. So eleven is close for visit. Okay. Yeah. So oh. We visit because it will go entry in, inside. Right. Okay. Yeah. So you can't enter inside at yeah. these times, but outside. Yeah. yeah. And are you allowed to take photos and things like that, or is that like not allowed? No, no photos. No, allowed there. The photos, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. You see, the mo that mosque is, is half one carpet. Right, okay. The bigger one, the, the girl also. Ah, uh, okay. She's making hand, hand making. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, so we've made it. We took an O taxi here, and the driver was incredible. What a guy. So helpful. As we was driving, he was telling us about the different buildings and stuff, and uh, the different, you know, explaining, you know, where things were, and he gave us a tour, a free tour essentially, and he couldn't do enough to help us. And uh, yeah, he was he was letting us know that uh, the Sultan is coming today uh, into the city. So uh, obviously, it's a very important day today. So we picked a very good time to come and visit, actually. <laughs> but as you can see, it's incredibly sunny very very sunny indeed um, and it's a completely different level of heat all right so we're pushing on uh, but the uh, the, uh, the driver of the car told us there's uh, quite an impressive building I don't know if we can go out that way Sam oh there's people going up there but before we do that let's go to a back street let's come back this way I really want to try camel and shark meat I've heard you can have them here and it's a dish called halwa and halwa is like a it's like a uh, what is it a wadi khalfan wadi khalfan khilats ad takha my pronunciation isn't very good but wow look at this beautiful sabah for here brother how are you? Yeah. Does this go anywhere or is this a dead end? No. Ah, down here. Thank yeah. you, brother. Shukran. Shukran, brother. Nice. What a different vibe. Unlucky. 
unlike anywhere we've been before. Okay, here we go. So here's the entrance. Many more tourists than I was expecting actually, but then we were in outside the tourist area previously, so uh, <laughs> quite a departure. Okay. So we're gonna head to the Matrasuk. I think that's the flag of uh, Kazakhstan. How oh, cool. Here we go, so here's the Muturasuk. And I want to buy a traditional hat. Hopefully we've got enough change. But this is what you would expect to see in the Muturasuk. How much is that? I don't know. So these are the hats I'm looking to purchase. Hmm. A little bit rich for my blood, 22. Considering that, so the journey here cost us, uh, the taxi journey cost us two yeah. real, and I'll put the conversions for that down below as I always do. Yeah, all right, so at the Matrasuk, and uh, things are a little bit more costly than I was expecting, obviously, tourist prices, and uh. Oh, Man, magnet! My, my, my wife! My wife wants a right. magnet. Do you want a magnet? <laughs> Sorry, my friend. I'll uh, stand by while she looks for a magnet. She always wants one. Yeah, look at that bustle and bustle. Look at that. It's absolutely quality. So, fridge magnet acquired. What's that done? Bumping into things. But yeah, a lot more touristy than I was expecting. All right, so we uh, did a little tour of the souk, and I must be completely honest, I wasn't a fan. It was a lot of uh, hustle, and bustle. hustle and bustle and a lot of tourists and a lot of trying to haggle and sell us stuff. Every corner, Madame, sir, come here, come here, where are you from, where are you from, come here, come here, come on, come in. And uh, if you know us well enough, you'll know that we're not a fan of that kind of, uh, kind of salesman tactics. And uh, my camera's almost dying as well, so I've had to, had to put it on charge. So uh, not ideal. But uh, yeah, obviously uh, the goal now is to try and get back to the Corniche and uh, have a look over there. Hopefully try and get some food as well. I really want to try some camel and shark. I've heard you're gonna have that here and some halwa, which is like a traditional sweet. So that's the next goal, I think. We've been trying to find a sewing kit for Tammy, but uh, well, needle, and needle and cotton, but we can't seem to find one. I was gonna purchase a bag, but it was 36 real which for a backpack like the one I'm wearing is a little bit out of our price range. It, it worked out about <laughs> 73 pounds. It's about 73 pounds roughly. So uh, yeah. we weren't gonna, we weren't gonna do that for a backpack. All right, so. This is the old fort, and I believe you've got to pay to get in. And if they take car, then it's cheap enough, we may consider doing it. All right, so we booked the ticket, really lovely gentleman in there. It cost six reals in total, so two people is, uh, well, it's three pound, basically, or three reals, sorry. And we're gonna go up there once the Instagrammers have done their thing. Oh, that took a while. I stood there for ages taking photos. I thought I'd never get up. <laughs> yeah, it was about so. I think six wee hours is about 12, 12 pound. And we're kind of weighing it up because we don't usually pay for tourist attractions, but we're going to pay for the view and the exercise. But yeah. 
Right, so we caught our breath. It's quite a steep climb, at least for us two. And, uh, but we were, we were there. We were rewarded. That's a mouthful, isn't it? Rewarded with a, a rather good view. Unfortunately, I promise you this, these people down there taking that photo have been there for about 10 minutes. So they've got the, the hot spot. But that is the view so far from the old fort. Let's bob over Tam's head there. <laughs> there we go. And you can see some of the old things and a cannon. Because this obviously was a fort. We ascend further. There we go. This English demi Colburn or 12 pounder probably dates from about 1720 and is apparently of Hogarth's pattern, which is manufactured only between 1716 and 1727. It's been mounted on a very close replica of a bad carriage of 1710 pattern. And there you go. Look at that. Very, very nice. All right, people, here we go. So to the top of the fort, and what a view. Obviously, Instagram is paradise, unfortunately, but yeah, we do what we do. But yeah. Oh my. Okay, might as well get a video going down the stairs, as soon as we went up them. Okay. There you go. Beautiful mountain country of Oman. Look at the size of the ants here, man. And they do not mess about, these guys. We ordered ourselves a coconut drink. Being prepared as we speak. And it's about 0 0.5 real. So I'll put the conversions for the screen on that. But yeah, you can pay by card. So we're going to try a coconut drink. Shukran, brother. Ma salam. Ma salam. Right, let's do it. All right, here we go. Coconut milk, coconut water. Never tried it. Let's give it a go. It's very refreshing. Oh, okay, thank you, buddy. We've only just got here. Yeah, you'll get a lot of that. <laughs> a lot of that. You'll get a lot of people asking you if you want like taxis or if you want to come in their store and stuff. Uh, a little bit annoying, but you kind of get used to it after a while, to be honest. Do you want to try a bit? Absolutely. Tammy loves coconut water, so uh, let's just get into the light. Come on, love. It's so dark around here. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Go on, Em. Give us your thoughts. Yeah. Good. Refreshing. It's mm. not really my cup of tea, personally, but nice. it's, uh, it is refreshing because it's quite hot. Which way do we go? This way. So we're now en route to go and get some uh, halwa, which is like a traditional Omani sweet. It's quite a sticky consistency, but uh, I've heard a lot about it, so I really want to try it. Um, and then after that, we found somewhere that does uh, camel meat. So uh, that's, that's not far from where we're staying actually. So we're gonna probably head back soon and uh, then we'll take a stroll over to this place that sells camel and uh, go and enjoy it from there. Okay, so a slight change in plan. Um, this is the place we're gonna go to the Baraka factory for Oman Halva. But uh, unfortunately, from one till four, everything shuts pretty much. And I believe that's for like prayers and stuff like that. Um, it was great, I wish we'd do that in England. So we've got to change our plans a little bit. We've got an hour and a half until things open. So we may stay and wait, or we may just head back to our apartment and try and cut our losses. Because we could potentially get halva in uh, London, but I'd rather have it in Oman where it's made. So we'll have to check back with you guys on that one.
back of the apartment and uh, man I'll tell you what it just goes to show you leaving the beaten trail is so much better so bear in mind that we found a bag for 30 something real it's about 70 something pound right Tam just brought a bag from a shop around the corner from where we're staying for 1.95 there we go. 1.95 for that bad boy. That's equivalent to about four pound. So the savings speak for themselves. Not only that, we've got all of these bottles of water, about 80p, I think it's about 400 real. I've got a incense burner and that was 1.50, you can see that all right, 1.50. I got some bakur, I'm gonna say it, which is like a, uh, it's like sandalwood, which has been soaked in like different incense flavor smells. You put it in there with a charcoal burner and you light it and it makes the house smell nice. The charcoal was two, uh, 0 0.2. And this was 0 0.95. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm about to take this in the plane with me because, uh, oh, it's inflammable. Yeah. Oh, okay, interesting. I'll have to go and speak to the guys at the airport maybe. And then I brought some oud because I really love oud. In the UK, that would have been selling for at least 100 quid, but I brought it for 1.8. So, just goes to show, you go off the beaten trail, you save some money. And, as always, I'll let you do the presentation. <laughs> Tom has got her magnet. And you're probably asking, did she get a magnet from the UAE in the end? Because uh, we were supposed to get a UAE magnet and we never told you if we did. Well, if you're curious, we did. There you go. So, and we have an Athens one as well. <clears throat> Might as well show them. It's been in the other video, but we have a magnet from all of our trips and it's just our little thing we like to do. So, Athens. So there's the three countries we've visited in this past few uh, few journeys. And uh, yeah, it's been awesome. So we're gonna rest up, relax, and uh, go and get some food. Hoping to try some camel. So keep on there with us. We might find some. We couldn't find any camel or halwa because all the shops were closed. So hopefully, We'll be able to find some nearby and we can share our thoughts with what camel's like, but always go off the beaten trail. Look how much we save just doing that. Almost forgot to mention as well, the uh, gentleman in the shop that we purchased this stuff from, I was speaking Arabic to him, telling him that I loved Oman and we were just having a really good chat about our different cultures. And uh, as I was leaving, he gave me some hand sanitizer protection for free. I can't take it with me on the plane, unfortunately, because it's double the allowed amount, but before I set off, I will make sure my hands are sanitised and thanks to the lovely gentleman. So, uh, I'm very pleased. The kindness of the people in Oman is incredible. You have to see it for yourself. It, you, it, words cannot do it justice. They are so lovely. Amazing people.